This is a lecture about the movie Cars. This uh, analysis represents my own views and you uh, can use this, but I encourage you also to find your own interpretations. Setting has to do with where the movie is actually uh, taking place. This story takes place in the United States, in a made-up world, consisting only of cars. The movie is shot in present time. There is little doubt that this is a cars world, because every character are vehicles, and most of them are cars. Even the bugs, the insects, are small cars with wings. Characters Lightning Stickers McQueen McQueen is a young and fast but untrained race car. He has got a big ego and he needs training and guiding, but he does not realize that because of his gigantic ego. Towards the end, however, he acquires all the training he needed from uh, Doc Hudson and the others. We'll get back to Lightning McQueen. Mater. Mater is a funny guy who represents the spirit of friendship. Spending time together, laughing, having fun, teaching new, new things from each other, like driving backwards and thus being generous to each other for example the helicopter ride mater even sounds like the australian word mate which actually means friend so mater is the friend in the movie another aspect of mater is that when he wakes up from sleep he stretches his one four tire and his one back tire like a dog. He also sleeps in what looks like a shack or a dog's house. So I would argue that Mater therefore is the dog in the movie. He is the one that everybody loves because he's just so dumb and adorable and he is delighted by simple pleasures like tractor tipping, backwards driving and the helicopter ride. But there is a, do uh, a twist to, to it. Usually, the dog's owner is carrying a leash and walking the dog. But as a tow truck, Mater carries a tow cable and a crane. And he uses this to pull McQueen at several occasions, rather than, than being towed himself, like a dog. So there's a twist to it. Mater is also the first one to notice the sparks between Sally and McQueen, the sort of love relationship. Often in life, the simplest of minds are the very first to spot the most difficult but fundamental things in life, like love. Miss Sally. Miss Sally is representing love, or the possibilities of a love relationship. She refers to McQueen as stickers, thereby showing that she cares for him, because one does not give out a pleasant nickname to someone one does not care about. She sees him as a friend, or maybe a boyfriend. Sally has moved from the big city as a hotshot lawyer to a position as a lawyer in little Radiator Springs. She must have had a wild side to her, considering she has a tattoo on her back and she's embarrassed over the tattoo. We don't know much about her, but when in Radiator Springs she has grown up, matured, and she helps McQueen mature as well. Frank and the Tractors. Frank is representing fear. 
He scares McQueen, and McQueen has a nightmare of him also, where Frank wins a race. Sometimes it is thus in life that fear wins. Another thing is that Frank is reminiscent of a bull with a nose ring that you can clearly see on the picture. And he watches over the tractors, who are reminiscent of stupid cows. Doc Judge Doc Hudson is being a mentor or teacher for McQueen. He sees that McQueen has got potential, he's got speed, but he lacks advanced driving tactics. And so Doc gives McQueen the advice to steer right when going left. This is a good advice, but McQueen is unable to take it seriously at first. At the Piston Cup race, at the end, he finally realizes what Doc meant, and this becomes the key to his success. Doc is an interesting character. He's been bearing a grudge for many decades. He was formerly known as the Hudson Hornet, the great race car that won three Piston Cups, then crashed and was thrown out of the world of racing. At the end, he seems sort of reinvigorated in the new position as McQueen's mentor and crew chief overlooking the race. So it is fair to say that he was a grumpy old car, but at the end, he sort of changed. Doc says, All I see is a bunch of empty cups. This indicates what is being said several times during the movie, namely that it is not all about winning. We'll get back to that. Plot. Plot means what actually happened in the movie. And so I ask you to write uh, what this movie is about. What ha happened? What actually happened in the movie? How did uh, Doc change from being this judge, this strict, grumpy judge, into being the cool crew chief? And how did McQueen change from being the cocky car into being a more sophisticated and better racing car? So, uh, when you're writing about this, you're writing about the plot. If you have forgotten, I uh, will advise you to go to Internet Movie Database, www.imdb.com. Point of view. We are experiencing the story of Lightning McQueen directly. We are not being told about it by a narrator for Teller, such as in Desperate Housewives. So there is no narrator. We are experiencing the film through sounds and animations. McQueen is the center through most of the story, and we get to know what he says and what he thinks. Although at sometimes he's not on screen, others are. Sometimes he thinks speed. I am speed. That is why I would argue that this movie has a limited, omniscient point of view. Limited to McQueen's thoughts. But generally McQueen doesn't think so much, he acts and speaks. I would like to say something about symbolism as well. Uh, a symbol is something that uh, represents something else. I have found two symbols and I would advise you to Try and find your own symbol. Symbols. Symbol one: Radiator Springs. The name itself, Radiator Springs, is somewhat ambiguous. Spring can mean the time of year before summer, but it can also be a verb: to spring, as in to explode. Spring, as in season, indicates a fresh start. A new beginning, which the town actually becomes for McQueen. So it can mean something positive. The verb, on the other hand, could mean that the radiator is exploding, perhaps because it is overheated because of 
driving too fast. In that sense, it could be a dangerous place. The name is, anyway, loaded with meaning. <clears throat> the Cozy Cone Motel. Usually, cones, car cones, are something cars try to avoid when out on the road. But now, McQueen is invited to stay in one. What can this mean? Contrasts? Confusion, perhaps? For the rest of this lecture, please watch part 2.